What's up guys? Happy New Year. Late to the party as always. I was gonna film a video on the Ryan Hall roll. You've already seen it. Ken Peters took like six hours to get one off. This is not how to do the roll, how to stop it. Three ways. Very, very simple. Obviously, it's much, much easier after the fact knowing, oh yeah, it was obviously it was a reverse Imanari roll. It was a Ryan Hall roll. He should have done this. BJ got a bit caught in the headlights. Ryan Hall here, shot in. Oh no. Here, and then as he backstepped, the heel hook was already on. Bam! BJ tapped. Okay? So I think what happened was BJ thought the heel hook grip wasn't there and that he'd be able to backstep, put the foot up Ryan Hall's bum, push out, free the leg lock. Okay? Now, squatting is not the best idea. That leg still came through from the outside. It's going to wrap up that leg lock. Okay, so he shoots for the leg lock and I just squat. This leg is always still going to come through and he's going to continue. He'll probably pick up this leg so that I can't run. And now I'm in real problems in that outside ashy position. Okay, stupid name. Don't speak Japanese. So, first way that we can stop this is very simple. As he shoots in, I take my leg away. He needs to be able to catch my leg, okay? And if he can't catch my leg, or if he can't stay attached to that leg, there's no leg lock, okay? So, in some way, if I can get this lead leg back, then we're out. Now, that's harder said than done. Easier said than done. It's harder than it looks. So that leads us to number two. He gets in on this, and I'm going to do my running man escape, okay? And I think BJ had a little go at turning, he just didn't commit to it, okay? He kind of stayed in it, rather than truly getting all the way out. So if my Ryan Hall substitute comes in, if I get to here, if he catches this leg, it's, it's hard, but still possible, I'm gonna run away, and I must go high knee, like I'm trying to knee someone in the head over here. And I've got to throw my way out, okay? So the faster I can react to this, we're here, the more, obviously, the simpler this is. If he gets a little deeper on it, there, okay? I must go high knee. If you don't go high knee, you're never going to be able to pull that heel out, okay? And then the detail here on the foot, you must point your toes so that your foot slips out. Okay, if we go in slow, boom. As I run, I point my toes, knee high, and we go. There's a chance he can get in on that back leg, and then we can turn back in, but we've defended the foot lock, okay? The third one is the one that I like most for MMA, is as he comes in, I knee him really hard in the head. Because the problem is, if my Ryan Hall actor can come in nice and slow. As Ryan Hall comes in, there's a big amount of time where his head is in this target area here where we can throw our rear knee. So if I know that my guy likes that Imanari roll, crack, he's going to bring himself straight into the knee. Okay, so for MMA, it's a really nice counter there. Um, also works as great counters to shot. Good friend of mine, Paul Daly, who I used to train with, knocked out, uh, I think it was Daniel Weichel in FX3 in the UK with this off a shot. He did a little switch knee. The guy shot straight into it. Yeah, that's where we add a lot of power into our knees. Okay, so three ways that we can counter the Ryan Hall roll. They also work for the Imanari roll. Blocking, running, kneeing them in the head, knocking them out. Okay, if we can knock him out, everyone's a winner except Ryan Hall. So Ryan, that was awesome. If you liked the video, like the video. I, 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 if you like BJ Penn as much as I do, make sure you like the video just to give him some support. Thanks BJ, you should retire now though.